The U.S. airlines are not only bullish on the year ahead, they expect strong demand for the next several years. After reporting strong first quarter results and blockbuster summer bookings, airline execs are looking ahead to the new normal. They believe many of the pandemic changes that boosted blended leisure and corporate bookings, altered seasonal demand patterns, and reinvigorated international travel are here to stay. Travelers have more time than ever, and they show no signs of slowing down. Let's listen in as airline executives share their insights into the changing post-pandemic travel world. Today, I'll take a few minutes to talk about four emerging themes that have come to the foreground and I think are important to the United Investment case. One, there appears to be a clear change in seasonality that is causing peak leisure demand months, March through October, to be even stronger, while months that were historically reliant on business demand are weaker. That particularly impacts January, February, and the first half of November and December. We believe demand is just structurally different than it was pre-pandemic, and we're still figuring out that new normal. Second, as we've expected all along, Long Haul International is moving into the lead over domestic. Andrew will give more details, but this is a multi-year structural change based on aircraft retirements and pilot downgrades at essentially all Long Haul U.S. airlines around the world except United. We don't see uh, revenue declines uh, in terms of demand strength. I know everyone has their own point of view on that, and we don't have a great crystal ball you know, beyond, beyond the next you know, four or five months. But from what we're hearing from our travelers, what we're hearing from the market, what we're hearing from agencies, you know, this is a very different recovery trajectory than other consumer businesses are experiencing. We see strong booking strength really across the, the, the airline network. Um, international, of course, Long Haul International um, is seeing a lot more bookings come in a lot sooner, uh, really reflecting the pent-up demand that's been there in many markets. Um, they really haven't been open for the better part of four years. Um, domestic, we continue to see um, historically strong booking and indeed a resumption of a lot of uh, a lot more people booking further uh, in advance than what they did last year. Certainly, um, more people willing to go and shift from a peak time flight to a trough time flight, which reflects um, uh, changes in in um, uh, work schedules through the week. But by and large, we we remain encouraged by what we see out there. Uh, and I'll add to that, too, that um, consistent with a lot of the trends that we've seen in, in past quarters, um, we, are, we continue to see um, a shift from a traditional business-style trip to more blended trips and more discretionary trips. Uh, in Q1, um, about 35% uh, of our volume was um, leisure discretionary-based trips, 35% blended trips, uh, and 30% uh, business trips. That compares to first quarter 19, um, where it was more like 30 leisure, 30 blended, um, 40 business. Uh, but we remain encouraged by it. Um, though, though, uh, though we're seeing that shift, we find that very often um, the blended yields that we see are coming in at, at values that are 8 to 10 percent higher um, than the very traditional business trips that they replaced. So uh, we remain encouraged and, and see a lot of the same trends we've been talking about for the last few quarters.